Hello to all my friends out there. Well, it's getting late, but I always wanted to be a news reporter. Not that I thought I would be good at it, but I always wanted to be a news reporter. I have four things to report. Every time like there is like one little sound, I, I freak out like gun, gun fires up. Iran women are able to compete in powerlifting competitions. So I guess this is like a new development for Iranian women to be able to compete in, in powerlifting competitions. And so you might be wondering why couldn't they? Well, turns out muscular bodies are socially disagreeable. So socially, I guess, their muscles were disagreeable, but now they can, so. Okay, number two story. Flight, fight erupts in Mesa over refusal to wear a mask. This was on a plane, and it was a man 52 years old. Hmm, I wonder if he, he's been shopping in Walmart. So what happened is he had a face shield on, but no mask. And so, gee, I don't know why people didn't want to fly with him. So he, he did not want to wear a mask. They got into a tussle. And um, so you may wonder what was his punishment for no mask and causing this fight. Uh, basically, basically, I think you could say he was an agitator, uh, disorderly conduct. So that was pretty minor. Number three story, San Diego Sheriff's defi deputy accused of pulling hair, woman's hair during traffic stop and she was stopped for a, a burned out brake light. Okay, so uh, first the photos looked like some of her extensions were pulled out, but then a second picture shows like hair the size, it was a black woman, size of cotton balls um, attached to the um, the extensions. Okay, I was pulled over for a burned out um, tail light, and I didn't see the, it wasn't a sheriff, I don't think, but I, I didn't see the guy for blocks, and finally I, I go, oh, somebody's following me, and I pulled over and I got a fix it ticket. So as to how her hair, how this happened, I'm not sure, but evidently they caught her on video. Okay, story number four. It looked like about half of the head, no hair. San Diegans react to President Trump, Trump's don't be afraid of a COVID message. And Scott Peters, I don't know exactly who he is, but um, uh, he doesn't speak for all the San Diegans. Um, eventually we are gonna have to go back out to work and resume life. And if we're terrified half to death, we can't do that. However, I, I do believe in wearing the mask and social distancing. I certainly don't want to be around anyone who refuses to socially distance. And I do not want to shop in places where they shop. So um, I don't think it was San Diegans react negatively to this, but some, neg some San Diegans. Um, I think um, if most people have any brains in their heads, um, they realize the COVID could be uh, could be fatal, so you know you don't want to pick it up. He's up, and then they made mention well he had the best of medical care, which is true as well. So those are my four news reports, and I will be doing some more of these because I always wanted to be a news reporter, and I think my news will um, will improve. I'm very happy that President Trump is well you know doing well that was very unsettling i don't know if that's proper to say during a news report 
but all the news I watch is biased, so I don't know why I can't say that. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.